Welcome back to Project Nigel, where you join me for an important sandwich update. And what is in today's sandwich, Captain? Fuck off. <laughs> It's half past seven on a Sunday morning and I've packed a picnic. I'm officially old. Kill me now. Kill me now! Hey? Kill me now! Let's do the horn for you. So, here is Project Nigel, and the good captain is going to demonstrate for us the infamous eight horn shout. Are we ready? Are we ready? Welcome back to Project Nigel, where you join me for an important sandwich update. And what is in today's sandwich, Captain? Fuck off. <laughs> Fucking get it. <laughs> Fuck
You're not welcome at my place any longer. Place? Bothered? It's bothered. Really? You look a bit like Kenneth Williams. Which bit? Your voice. Thank you. Why is it just Phil looking at me? <laughs> you laughed. I you laughed. I laughed at him. You laughed. <laughs> He's funny. I did. sensation seekers and here we go again it's now tomorrow uh, well it isn't coming it's today isn't it but compared to the bits that you have been watching which were yesterday or today for you um, it's now today or tomorrow I'm confusing myself um, Okay, so the stuff that you've seen so far was um, yesterday, and it's now, no, don't start that again. Confusing yourself, never mind them. Right, all of the stuff that you've seen so far was done on Sunday, and now it's Monday. Whole new day, totally different day. That's how time works. So it's Monday, and I'm heading back to Project Nigel Land. Why am I heading back to Project Nigel Land? Well, the reason I'm heading back to Project Nigel Land is I am taking the Honourable Stigbert von Thundercock, my MG ZT190 Plus, and I will be uh, and I'll be leaving him there, um, and I will be coming back in Sir Arnold Robinson, my Rover 75 CD. TI-131 PS. What does a PS mean? Something to do with power. Power, speci no, power specifics. Postscript. Parental subsidies. Pubic secretions. I have no idea. Anyway, it's an old diesel. And it will, hopefully, by the time I get there, have an MOT. And it has most certainly, thanks to Craig and Rover Revival, got two sparkling, shiny, wonderful new sills. I need to interview the previous owner of this car for the great wiper debate. Because he's, uh, he's taken a whole new slant on the issue. Because, as you can see, he's gone original on the passenger side and updated on the driver's side, which is an interesting way to go. Ah, the good captain himself. Do we have MOT news, old chap? Yes, we do. Would you like to know what the news is? No, I'll guess. I'll use my psychic powers, shall I? Uh, yes, to do please impart said news. Hey, you're going to mess around with my mind, I'm going to mess around with yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright for you coming here to find, you know, material for your video, whilst I'm here not making any of my own. My videos are monetized. I'm losing out here because of you, you big sausage. I brought you kebabs. I know, I'm going to eat it right now. Oh. Yeah. Last time I saw two dicks like that. What? I don't. My wife was obviously. They're not going to believe this. They're not going to believe what I've bought. And so we got the flags out and basically like uh, waving on the ironing board like this. Yeah, I do remember it very well now. Come to think of it, get back up there until football season's over. I can confirm this chap can make a kebab. I can make a cup of tea. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, I can record you recording me. This is like Big Brother 
looking at himself in the bathroom mirror. No, I don't know where I'm going with that. Okay, so here I am back at one of my favourite laybys. It's about half past eight now in the evening and I am in the newly MOT Sir Arnold Robinson. Yay! Now that was an incredibly badly repaired outer sill and the inner sill was rotten as well. Um, basically it was just there was um, a strip of metal that was literally just riveted over so not exactly optimal and same the other side indeed on the MIT failure sheet it was actually recorded as um, inadequate inadequately repaired rather than uh, rusty or buggered. The car is absolutely filthy, so first job tomorrow will be to clean him up. Sir Arnold Robinson lives on. What a comfortable place to view this scenery from. I feel 100% at home in this car. It feels like my car. Everything, everything about it. Yes, we're here again, my lovelies. You must be getting absolutely sick of the sight of this bit of road. Sorry. When Mustard drove and reviewed this very car, he didn't like it very much. He prefers something a little smaller with a bit more hooliganery. Is that a word? If not, it is now. I like the laid back refinement. I like the waft. I like heated leather seats. I like an automatic gearbox. I like a wood rimmed steering wheel. I also like slender, pretty brunettes and cooked breakfasts. Just FYI. Now just to the left here is Eam, famous as the Plague Village. Now, on the left, you can't see it, but above the tree line, are the Lover's Leap Cliffs. And they're called that because legend has it, a, um, a jilted young lady threw herself to her doom off the top of said cliffs and her petticoat caught the wind and acted as a parachute and saved her life. And presumably she lived happily ever after. I hope she did anyway. And the buildings at the bottom are now an Indian restaurant. And speaking of curry, Regular viewers of Boaties Nosh's videos will know that my regular Monday night day off supper is Chinese chicken curry with fried rice. But tonight I'm going to do something a little bit different and I'm going to have a spaghetti dish because I haven't had one for a while but I fancy a change. <laughs> Okay, 
Mullet, please. Well, we're nearly home. So, time for me to say goodbye. I really hope you've enjoyed uh, these bits of footage of the last couple of days. Uh, I hope you're glad to see Sir Arnold Robinson MOT'd and uh, back in use. And keep your fingers crossed for the Honourable Stigbert and his upcoming appointment with the MOT inspector. Thank you so much for your company, as always. Wouldn't be the same without you. Stay safe, and I can't wait to see you next time. Good night, my love, please. Spaghetti bolognese for you. The best Nepalese food, it'll touch a part of your palate that's never been touched before. It's like your first ever blowjob. Do you remember your first ever blowjob? Well, it was only 10 minutes ago. Thanks, Bolt. <laughs> How long did it take him to come? Oh, it was... Uh... <laughs>